Hello, my name is Erfan Zamani. It's my pleasure to have this opportunity to present our study. Uh, this study has been done during the last year by uh, me and uh, Dr. Theodore Donas at the School of Architecture and Build Environment of uh, Robert Gordon University. Uh, in this study, we had a parametric approach to redesign Iranian and Islamic Moharnas as a case study uh, to create a construction DFMA or design for manufacture and assembly based on the UAV or drone. First of all, I would like to explain the three main research steps we had. In the first step, we analyzed Moharnas and its background. A background includes specifications, typology, traditional design and construction methods. In the second step, we examined creating a generative system that could be employed to design a Moharnas uh, with a parametric tool. In this uh, study, we used a Rhino Grasshopper. And in the third step, we designed a strategy to assemble our Moharnas via UAV. Iranian Moharnas could be classified into the four main categories, although there are some other types of classification that uh, we mentioned some of them in our uh, paper. But in this study, we use this classification that uh, mainly used in Iran. We have four main categories of uh, Iranian uh, post-Islamic Moharnas, Lana Zamburi, Ruyah Hamrafte, Mu'allaq, and Jola Ahmadeh. You can uh, see the English translation of uh, each of these uh, Persian names. Uh, number one, Lana Zamburi. Uh, it looks like uh, small hives stack on top of each other. This kind of Moharnas is known as the most complex one. Number two, uh, Ruyah Hamrafte. Uh, after caving the stone, additional decoration would be attached. Uh, decoration are usually made of a plaster, a stone, or uh, even brick. This type of uh, Moharnas is uh, similar to the Jolamate, the other types of Moharnas, but uh, with more uh, complexity in decoration and it has better stability too. Uh, number three, Mu'allaq, uh, its shape uh, is similar to stalactites and uh, is formed by attaching various materials such as plaster tiles uh, to the inside of con uh, uh, to the inside of a concave surface this type of moranas uh, looks dangling and uh, it doesn't have high stability although in the first side uh, it's similar to the lanazambri Number four, Jolo Amade, uh, that's uh, usually known as the simplest type. Uh, this kind of Moharnas is built by uh, curving the stone and it has uh, moderate stability. It's uh, very simple in terms of uh, geometry and uh, usually doesn't have any additional decoration. It has a very heavy weight and uh, it's made in the interior or exterior surface. Uh, of the building. 2D pattern plan or 2DPP plays uh, the main role to design the Moharnas. Uh, each of these uh, 2D units that you can see in the picture, uh, each of these uh, 2D units plays a, a specific role to construct a 3D element. In the, in the traditional methods, uh, usually size, height, rotation, and uh, sometimes even the color of each 3D element are specified uh, by its uh, unique 2D element. Uh, in this study, to generate a parametric system, uh, we recognize traditional specifications of uh, Moharnas uh, to refine them uh, into the parametric environment. We started with Islamic star, that uh, in Iran is known as uh, Shamse. Each Shamse uh, saron is surrounded by several cranes uh, and other traditional shapes, uh, traditional pattern. We assessed uh, 11 parametric strategies. Uh, this assessment was uh, very helpful in terms of understanding procedural difference to decode the traditional Moharnas. Uh, you can see the final design here. Uh, to keep the structure, 
they use these uh, back rests uh, that we inspired them from the traditional decoration. Each module and uh, its two backrests could support two other modules above uh, itself. After creating this uh, generative system, we proposed a UAV-based assembly sketch. In this sketch, we have two putting and uh, picking sites. In the putting site, we have uh, only uh, a bo one board that the first uh, row pattern is uh, created on it. Uh, with the coding for each module. In the picking site, we have several boards. Each board belongs to a row. Uh, drones would pick up uh, each module from this board and after finishing the modules board, the next board uh, with the new modules would be moved forward. Uh, this strategy would be uh, helpful uh, in the drone programming stage and could minimize the drone's rotation and flying distance. To analyze the structure resistance, uh, we 3D printed the modules and assembled them under the scale. Uh, however, in the next stage of the study, we will assemble the Moharnas with the scale 1-1 and the results would be reported uh, in, the separated, uh, in a separated paper. Again, many thanks for this opportunity and many thanks for your attention. Bye.